beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand of Giving Hands Creative and I'm coming to you today Sunday December 22nd at 1 23 in the afternoon for book in a day 51. We are one away from having 52 books for the year. It feels amazing to have gotten to this point. <laughs> I have absolutely no plan right now. So here's what I'm thinking though. Here's what I do know. I have some paper. I have a half sheet of watercolor paper that is left over from another project I was doing. And when I came in the, into the little uh, room today, I was like, you know what? That paper is sitting there. It's calling out to me. That's the paper I'm using for today. So this is the paper I'm using. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, other than get some color on it the way I usually do um, with my stamps and my paint and my spray inks. Um, I have a bunch of foam stamps that I was working on and creating for the um, the Me, Myself, and I course that I teach. Uh, so I'm going to be using some of those. My phone is blowing up right now, isn't it? Someone's probably texting me. So sorry for all that beeping in the background. But I have all these like stamps that I've created using foam sheets. Um, some were things I made at Tracy Bautista's workshop that I went to this year. So I think I'm just going to use that. Use some paints. Use some stencils. Do what I do to get some stuff on this paper. And then uh, figure out what kind of book I can make with it. Okay, book 51. I will see you on the other side. Woohoo!
just a quick check in. It is 6.15. Of course you know I've taken breaks and such. Um, so, I took a couple breaks. This is what I have so far. Um, one of the things I, one of the other things I learned about what I like to do as an as a book as a mixed media book artist um, through this journey this year is I really like working on large pieces like this and then cutting them down because when you work on a large piece you're focused on this border, but when you cut it down you end up getting just a piece of that and so it looks completely different. So. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, did I make a mess? What's happening here? Uh, but I know that when I cut this down, it's going to look completely different. So um, I really had fun on this side too because I didn't plan to put any black on this side and I knew that. So I just played a lot with color. Um, I'm also obsessed with cir circles and orb-like shapes. So anyway, that's totally on the side. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down, and I've decided this isn't going to be one that I use watercolor paper on the inside. I'm actually just going to use some Strathmore sketch paper. Um, so I'm going to tear a few sheets of this out, probably about six. I think I'm going to do three signatures for the book that I've decided to make, um, which, yeah, we'll see how that works. So anyway, six, six sheets, and this paper is fairly thin. It's really for writing um, and sketching, so... This isn't going to be, but if I wanted to make the same book as an art journal, so for instance, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I want to make that book, but I want it to be an art journal, then you just switch the paper. Just use um, watercolor paper or mixed media paper. So, okay, so that's what I'm doing. Just wanted to check in, see you back in here in a bit. Okay, so I realized after the fact that I didn't have the camera on when I did the tear. Um, but I tore this piece, the big sheet, into three pieces. Um, yeah, I don't even, now I don't even know how it was together, but something like this. All right, yes, like that. So to get this piece out, I just tore long ways and then once again. So, okay, so there's my cover. That's going to be my cover, I think. I just want to measure that again and make sure I got my measurements right. And I don't. I need to, um, maybe this piece is my cover piece. That doesn't feel right either. Let's see. Oh wow, this is my cover piece. Oh. Um, I think. Nine. This is so crazy. Because that is a weird size. Okay, let me just uh, play around with this and see if maybe that's my piece. I don't know. Okay, so this is the paper I'm using. Why don't we just try? I already tore the paper, cut the side strip off. Let's just see if this fits in here. It's kind of tall, the cover. So odd. I'm not going to press it all the way just because I want to see if it can, in fact, fit. Well, that is just weird. I don't know what I did. Okay, so I need to think about this because it looks like I'm going to have to cut these pages smaller to get what I want. Okay, I will be right back.
Okay, so the book is almost there, but I wanted to do a quick check-in before I finish um, putting the pieces together. I'm sure somewhere along the way, like usual, I measured something incorrectly because my accordion pieces on the spine aren't doing what I want them to do. Now, I am following... Um, this structure is one that I think it's an Australian structure and I saw this on Alyssa Golden's blog a while ago um, prob um, less than a year maybe and I thought oh that's that's a neat sort of accordion spine book to do so when I was doing my little um, when I was making the covers one of the things about the circles is that they are very meditative for me uh, and so as I was doing that that this book came back into my memory so um, yeah I'm so the next step so I have these little pieces that I've the accordion spine comes through the inside of these slits so it's very similar to the slot tab book that I did for uh, Scrabbled in that you cut these little slits and the accordion comes through now to keep the accordion from sliding out and to secure it, I need to put pieces, strips on the inside of this. So I'm going to cut these a little less than an inch because these are about an inch wide. So a little less than an inch um, strips. And the, the, this is already the right height. So I'm going to do some one, a little less than one. Like so little that it's negligible. And I need three of those. So. When I was working on the circles, I had an idea for what I wanted to call the book. That name doesn't work anymore, so we'll see. Maybe. Maybe it does. I don't know. I guess the name could be whatever I want it to be, right? Alright, so here we go. Let's try to slide these in. So, ideally, they are to slide in almost effortlessly, I think, if I've, you know, sized them properly. I do a little, little jiggling <laughs> to get it in there all uh, nice and, oh, I see it coming. All right, so I'm going to just help it along here. There we go. Cool. I like that a lot, actually. Ha <laughs> ha, neat. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to do the other two, and then I'm going to glue these, or I'm actually not going to use glue, I'm going to use double-sided tape, just because it's easy, and uh, put adhere these two down, and then the book will be done. Oh, of course, you know, i got to put a title on there, so I'll do a title, and a call on, and I will be back to share with you the final product. See you in a moment. One is done. Done, 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 done. This is so crazy to me that I only have one book left. And I it feels like I just did the first book a few days ago. Um, and we're at 50. This is 51. It's done. One more book. 52. And wow. The year is over and we're on to 2014. So I'm calling it Meditate. I love this little structure. It's so awesome. I'm going to link to the uh, directions for you so that you can make your very own. I love it. I love the 
I love having multicolor like this with the spine being a different color than the book. Um, I love how my larger sheet cut down looks completely different. Um, I'm very happy that I did both the inside and the outside, which is one of the things she recommends on her site. She says the having both sides um, colored is or painted is much nicer, and I agree with her on that. So I'm very oh man, I'm super excited about this. I love this book. It's great. It's great. You should totally try to make one. It's so easy too. It's very easy. Um, it's just, you know, once you get this part, the cover, once you have, you know, you can use recycled art that you have. Um, and it's a fairly small book. It's about, what are we looking at? Five by four and a half because the pages were nine by five. So yeah, five by four and a half. Um, three signatures, super easy to make. Um, if I were using a recycled piece of art for my covers, uh, it would have taken me, I don't know, 30 minutes to put this book together. Once you have the accordion piece cut and done and you have your pages folded and you make the slits, it's actually pretty darn simple from there. Easy peasy. Book 51. Meditate. <sighs> I don't know if that was a sigh of... I don't know what that was, but I'm going to go have dinner with my husband. Let's do a time check just so we can mark the time. Uh, after I clear my screen. There's always something on my screen, I think. Okay. It is 7.31 p.m., still December 22nd, and book 51 is done. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for joining in on this journey that is almost come, has almost come to an end. Um, but it's really a beginning because there's so much more for next year. You have no idea. So I hope you'll stay with me. Uh, continue to follow the journey and maybe even uh, play along next year. I'm going to give you so many opportunities to play along. Okay, I look forward to seeing what beautiful things you go out and create. Create something beautiful this week. It's book 51. We have one more to go. Woo! All right, have a great week. I'll see you back here next week for book 52, the last book, the final book. Oh my God. Okay, have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.